Hello, hello to all of you, my organic farming enthusiasts, and welcome to our tiny garden where we are dedicated to the art and science of organic farming. Today I'm going to show you how to turn these eggshells into this water-soluble calcium that is readily available to plants and it's 100% organic. So first up, you're going to collect all your eggshells and rinse them with hot boiling water. This is very important because it's going to help remove any contaminants or residues that might be present on the shell surface. This also ensures that the resulting calcium solution is safe and clean to use without introducing any unwanted impurities into the mixture. Did you know that eggshells are composed of approximately 94% calcium carbonate? 4% organic material and the other 2% contains other minerals like magnesium, phosphorus and potassium. Therefore, eggshells are an excellent source of calcium for your plants. Calcium is a crucial element for plant growth and development. It plays a vital role in maintaining the structural integrity of cell walls, helping them remain strong and stable. This is especially important in rapidly growing tissues like the tips of roots and shoots. Calcium also helps regulate the movement of other nutrients within the plant, such as potassium and magnesium. Calcium also plays a role in reducing the effects of environmental stressors like salinity and drought by enhancing the plant's ability to maintain water balance. In fruits, calcium is crucial for preventing disorders like blossom and rot in tomatoes and bitter pit in apples. Once you're done rinsing your eggshells, you're going to put them on a piece of paper and start crushing them like so. Once you're done crushing, transfer them to another absorbent paper and sun dry your eggshells. Our eggshells are now well dried and we're going to grind them further into a fine powder. Remember we said eggshells are primarily composed of calcium carbonate, which is not easily soluble in water in its natural form. By grinding the eggshells into a fine powder, you increase the surface area available for chemical reactions to occur. The next step is to react your eggshell powder with a weak acid. There are two weak acids that you can use in this process. The number one acid is acetic acid, which is in vinegar, and therefore the end product is going to be calcium acetate. Or you can use citric acid, therefore making the end product to be calcium citrate. Today I am making calcium citrate, therefore I'm going to use citric acid instead of vinegar. To make a citric acid solution, I am going to use one tablespoon of citric acid to one cup of water. For the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to use a little amount of eggshell powder in a beaker, add the citric acid solution and allow the mixture to react. The citric acid being a weak organic acid is reacting with the calcium carbonate which is present in the eggshell powder. The reaction between citric acid and calcium carbonate results in the formation of calcium citrate which is what we are making that is a water soluble compound. The other byproducts are carbon dioxide and water. The carbon dioxide is released as a gas and the calcium citrate remains in the solution. Always remember to use a large enough container for this reaction. As you can see, I almost created a volcano in my house and therefore I had to transfer the entire mixture into a larger container. Allow your mixture to sit until the reaction is complete. It took 48 hours for my reaction to complete and this is how it was looking like. The next step is to stir the mixture and to sieve it. We are sieving it to remove any eggshells that might have not reacted with the citric acid solution. You can discard these eggshells or you can still repeat the entire process and make more water-soluble calcium. And this is our end product, water-soluble calcium that is readily available to plants in the form of calcium citrate. So at this point you might be asking what about the acidity, is it even good for the plants? Well remember that the reaction between the citric acid solution and the calcium carbonate in the eggshells neutralizes the acidity. Therefore the end product which is our calcium citrate is actually a salt which is slightly alkaline. 
just to be sure we are going to do a basic litmus test using a blue litmus paper we are going to test our original solution first and then we are going to compare that with our calcium citrate solution as you can see the difference in ph is quite clear the above strip is our calcium citrate solution and the below strip is the original citric acid solution if you want a more specific reading then you can go ahead and use a ph meter for that finally store your end product into storage containers and for my case i'm going to use these two 500 ml bottles and i'm going to store my product in the fridge it can store up to two weeks if you're putting it on the shelf and if you're putting it in the fridge then it can store for up to three months always remember to label all your fertilizers otherwise you will not remember what they are label it and also put a date on it in terms of application, you only need 10 ml for every 4 liters of water. You can always titrate this upwards depending on the needs of your plants. And there you have it, water-soluble calcium that is readily available to plants, very easy to make, 100% organic, making it sustainable and affordable. As always, thank you so much for watching and if you liked the video, please do share it with someone who might be interested in this kind of content. Until the next video, happy gardening!